Good morning, everyone. I'm going to show you my process for putting an image from a PC onto the CPC. We're going to use uh, stable diffusion here to generate a random image of a low poly rainbow monster with teeth. That guy looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to run this program, convim CPC. <laughs> uh, it's an image converter. Switch it to English. Go read. You can see here the image folder. I'll pick out the guy that we've just made here. Now, if I say convert, right now we're just going to get a mode one. Not many colors here. Let's switch up to mode zero. That's looking a bit better. What else can we do here? We'll try using a bit of dithering. Maybe too much dithering to put on the smoothing. Okay. Let's try this one. That's looking pretty good. You can also change how much color it puts in. And this one says more accurate. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I think it's going to bring out some of those shadows a bit more. sort the colors so they're in the order which they should be not really necessary okay great so we've got our image now we're going to save it and I'll actually save it into a folder here So I want to copy the palette. So that's going to give us the correct numbers for all these colors here. Now, I should have opened this earlier, but I've got a spreadsheet that I use to convert the color values into a little basic program here. So paste that in, and then I'm just going to split it into columns. So we can see now, all the ink uh, numbers are here and the corresponding color numbers have come into this column and then this is going to paste it together and then we'll give this the same name as our file which was this I'm going to be loading this from a tape. I put this little exclamation mark in front of the file name and that is just going to suppress all of the text that normally pops up when it says loading block one, block two, because that will actually appear over our image if we leave that in. Okay, so we've got a nice simple little program here. So let's jump over to the emulator. And I've got a blank disk here right now. Put that into see that's the only thing that's there so if we were just to switch to mode zero and if we we're just to load this image we go c zero 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 this is the start of the screen memory and this will load the file straight into the screen memory so that we'll see it Okay, we've got our image, but the colors are obviously looking really odd. And that's just because this is the default color values that you'll get on the CPC. So that's why we need to have our basic program there. So we can just copy this. And then I can paste this straight into the emulator by pressing Control F11. And that will actually type it in. And we can speed that up. There we go. Shift F4 to go fast, Shift F3 to go back to normal. Now, now we run the program. And now we get the image that we wanted. So that's great. Okay, now we can save this program. I'll change the hammer. There we go. Let's call it 
loader.bas. Okay, now that's on the disk as well. So if you have uh, some kind of, you know, SD card thing or a GoTech or something like that, then you could just copy these files onto your media and then put it onto the computer, but we're going to be using a tape. So it's a little bit trickier. So I'll just reset it so we can go back to a fresh screen here. So the first thing I'm going to do is load that basic program. Alright, there it is. Now we've got to switch to tape mode. And I'm going to we'll create a new tape. So we'll go record and we'll call this, uh, I've already done a few, so we'll call this CPC pick 4. Okay, so that's ready to record. So now we're in tape mode. We can go save loader. Okay, we can see now the recording is happening there. So it's saving loader block one. It's only going to be one block. I think it's a very short listing. Okay, so we've now got the basic program on our tape. We now need to get the reset so we're back in disk mode I need to get this image on so what I'll do is I'll load the image into another part of memory not the screen because uh, then that way I can save it back out and it's not going to be saving any of the stuff that I'll be putting on the screen as I type so first we've got to allocate some memory what this does is it means that the basic uh, is only going to use up to 3000 and so we can load things in above that value and it's not going to interfere with any of our programs okay so now so instead of loading it into C000 we'll load it into 4000 that should give us enough space that it's going to just go into that empty bit of memory there over to tape mode and this is we need to know a little bit of hex stuff so what we do is we say B for binary and we'll then say 4000 and then again 4000 is the size of the file that we want to save Okay, we're now recording to tape, and this will take quite a while. Okay, so our file is now saved. We can stop the tape and eject it. Okay, if we have a little look here, we can see there's our WAV file. Sounds just like a CPC tape. Okay, so the next step is to put this file onto my phone, plug it into the um, audio of the CPC, and we can load it up on a real computer. Okay, here we are with the CPC 464, and we've got our cassette adapter in the tape drive there and that's plugged into my phone over here. And on the phone, I've got my WAV file, which I saved from the emulator. So if we go run, press play. Okay, it now thinks it's playing a tape. So we'll put this and ripping, it will work. Okay. It's 
a good sign. So now begin loading the image data. Okay, now we can stop the tape. There we go, the image that we created on Stable Diffusion is now pixel art on the CPC.